Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you about a new tip or trick for us Mac users. Um, if you want to, if you have a Dymo label printer, not the big 4XL, 4x6, if you have a regular Dymo printer, a 400, a 450 turbo, or even a 330. Um, got these labels off eBay. They are a 7 and 3 8 or 7 and a half inches long by two and a quarter and these are eBay or internet postage labels. Um, they come out like that. Uh, if you're on Windows you can already do this no problem. This is the one problem I have with a Mac and it's because of Java for some reason. Because it requires Java to print and there's something wrong with the Mac Java that it won't print correctly. So there's a work workaround that will add an extra step, um, unfortunately. What you do is you end up printing it as a PDF and then printing your PDF to, uh, to your Dymo. And there's several ways to do that. You can do it through Photoshop, whatever. I'm going to show you a little step that you can do to uh, just print it from your PDF viewer preview. So I'm going to switch to a screen capture view and show you uh, how to do the setup for this. All right, here we are. Um, I'm going to show you the first thing you need for Mac is you need to install a PDF printer driver. This one is, uh, I got recommended it. It's called VIP Riser. Um, it worked. And what this does is it adds a virtual PDF printer to your list of printers. And you choose that to print your label. Um, this is on Mac Update. You can see here MacUpdate.com. Just do a Google search for VIP Riser. I'll put a link to this in the um, description below. But if you do a Google search for uh, VIP Riser, this should come up uh, first. And then click the Downloads and download it. Go ahead and install it. And then, let me see. We're going to click down here and pull up the VIP Riser. And then you want to go to VIP Riser Preferences. And I'll bring it over here. Here it is. And what I do is I chose my default destination to be folder. And um, you click folder here. I created a folder called shipping labels and put it in my desktop. And then I click here, choose, and go find your folder, open it, choose, and it will appear here. And that's all you have to do. So that's where it's going to stick all your labels now is in that folder. So we'll click out of that. Next thing I want to do is um, set up a default paper size for my printer. And the way I do that is, and I don't have it here, um, is open your text editor. And what you can do, what's, what's the best way? I just open my launch pad here and went to my text editor right here, text edit. And it put, it'll ask for a document. We're going to say, uh, um, I just said done. And then, oh, I should have clicked it there. I just said new document. So it pulls up a new document. And then what you want to do is click up top here. And you want to click to page setup. And here's your page setup. And make sure it says any printer. And it'll say US letter there. And I already have mine here called eBay postage, but you want to go to manage custom sizes. I'm going to pull up my eBay po post with manage custom sizes. You know, it gives you this window here. And I um, hit the plus sign for new. And then I changed the, it'll say untitled. I changed the title to eBay postage. And then I set the paper size width to two and a quarter to seven and three eighths. And then I just set all the margins to zero and clicked OK. And that's all you have to do. And that sets up there now. So now when you go to uh, print something and you can select your paper size, that will be there. And I'll show you that when I do it. The one thing I haven't shown in this video, um, uh, scratch that, I'm going to try to show it, is setting up a preference on printing. Ah. Oh, get rid of that. So the next thing I want to do is 
I'm going to bring up preview. This is an old um, label, and I'm going to set up a preference. So I'm going to hit File, Print, or Command P, and Last Use Settings. That's wrong. Right, next we're going to show you how to set up a uh, paper preset so our label will fit nicely. We're in our PDF preview mode, Mac preview. We hit command P and you see this. We don't want to print this. This is going to my default laser printer. So we're going to choose the correct printer which is my Dynamo Label Writer 400. We're going to set default settings and I already have eBay postage here. So I'm not going to choose that right now but I'm going to show you how to set this. And what we're going to do is, for one, we want the correct paper. So we're going to check, select our eBay poaches paper we set up earlier. And notice that's correct, but the label's not going the right way. So we're going to select Rotate. And that's not, I wonder if we just do that. And click Auto Rotate. Yeah. Go to Landscape and check off Auto Rotate. Now everything fits perfect. And that's what we want. So now we're going to click on presets up here and choose save current settings as preset. Now I'm going to go ahead and call this one eBay postage and see if it'll write over it. And it will it? Yeah, it just wrote over it. Okay, so that is now my default, that's my preset. Um, for this label on this program. So I just hit print and it'll print out. I've already printed this label so I'm not going to do it. So we go to the next step and we will show you how to actually print the shipping. All right, here we are about to ship something. And what I have, I got three monitors. You may have one or two. But I have this folder already open up or finder for us Mac people, opened up to the target shipping labels. And it's sitting over here on, I'll put it right, and yeah, it's over here on my other monitor. So when I hit purchase shipping, there we go, it's buying. Dear, 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 do you watch Java crash on me? Okay. It's not supposed to show this. I already have it clicked on show again, but it's probably because it's a new window. Run. Don't show again. Allow. Always allow this. It's going to the wrong printer. I'll click OK anyway. OK, and now we're going to slick print to VIP riser. It should have saved that. It should be saved there. You might have to redo it once in a while. So I've got my printer selected. If you can go up to select target printer here and uh, make sure print a VIP riser is there, save, and then you just print. And it's gonna, you can't see it, it's gonna print it to, and there, whoops. There it is right there, the label. So I'm gonna pop it up now in preview. Hit Command P, choose my printer. In my eBay postage presets there, and for some reason, auto rotate is still checked off, but you can just uncheck it there and then hit print. It's a little bit of an extra step that's going to save me a lot of money on toner, and actually, it will save me the two part UPS, lab UPS labels that I get for free. So, I was going through so many of those that UPS would cut me off for a while, and then I would run out and I have to go buy some off Amazon or eBay, but this way I, I can spread out those two-part labels, only use them in emergencies or for FBA, and I have my uh, label there. So I like it. I'm going to use it for a while, and I'll show you the label. All right, here we are back, and here's our shipping label printed off the Dymo. It's the, uh, again, it's the uh, two and a quarter by seven and a half or seven and three eighths. And uh, 
that is it. Nice and sweet. It uh, the benefit of using your Dymo, of course, is you um, save in ink or toner or whatever you're using on your regular printer, laser printer, inkjet. So you're not going to pay for ink again. Just your labels now. And I'm really hoping Dymo and Java get their act together for the Mac people. Um, would make life a lot easier. This is an extra step, but I'm going to go ahead and try using it for a while. Uh, because I like it, the uh, printer. I don't have to take the step of loading the paper into the paper tray and print it out. It just it may be a lot easier. It may be the same amount of work. I don't know. Uh, your mileage will vary. So uh, for you Mac people, there's a workaround for using your eBay shipping. I haven't tried this out yet for FBA shipping labels or any uh, shipping labels merch fulfilled from Amazon. Um, that will be another step. I'm going to be doing it FBA next uh, week, so I will see if I can work that and save some labels. All right. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later or the tip or trick later. So stay positive. Hope uh, you guys are doing well. See ya.